All right, to get to Calliope's Distress Tardis Vault, we have to actually activate three crystals. The first one is up here. It's actually gonna be an arrow one, so we're gonna right mouse button, press E, and fire the arrow through, and we're gonna guide it into the crack here and hit this torch. That actually starts up a wind, uh, some wind over here, so we can actually ride it up. So jump, hit R, which is glide, and you're gonna glide all the way up here, and then just fall down and activate that. So that's our first one done. Got one crystal done. We'll break through this wall right here. Look in here, and then you can hit middle mouse button and E to pull this small box off. Walk in here and click the other one. This is number two. All right, the third one's all the way down here, so we're gonna drop. This is dangerous. I've died a couple times by just falling off the wrong place. Activate this. And actually, typically, I die climbing back up is what I've done. The movements, like I said before, I say on a lot of my videos, the movement for a mouse and keyboard on this is really tough. We're just gonna keep climbing up higher and just come on out so we get to the entrance. It's a little herky-jerky at times. Climb up here, then I do a jump back and jump in. Now all three crystals are lit, we can get through the door, and we can actually jump into the Tartarus Vault. All right, so this Tartarus Vault is actually all about memory puzzles. And they give you the answers to the puzzle, you just have to make sure you hit the right blocks in the right order, right? So luckily it's usually just go forward, these two, go over to the side and hit this one and the one in front, and that's this puzzle. Now for this, we're gonna glide across, so we're gonna jump and hit your glide button, which is default R for PC. Glide up high, don't move forward yet, now go forward a little bit. Hit the second one, let it propel you up and then shoot forward holding shift down to accelerate quickly. All right, here's the next puzzle. We're gonna hit our save spot first. So it's two, two straight ahead and then it's three all the way across here. One, two, three. Then it's the two next to us. One, two, and done. On to the next part. Another glide section. Remember, make sure you hit the glide button. Get up high and then just coast forward a little bit. Slow down and sometimes I find pulling back a little bit when you're hitting these works out well too because you want to make sure you, you get up higher and don't um, lose any momentum. Jump across here. Now this one's tricky because the puzzle's actually back here, not where you're actually working from. So what I did was I actually had my cell phone with me. I took a picture of the screen here because I couldn't remember what it was when I first did this. So, you know, not great screenshot because I actually used my cell phone to take a picture, but it's these first two, three rather and then the two right here. Then we're gonna wait for the uh, shooting. Watch out for the fireballs. They, they they won't kill you in one shot if you're full health. Two here, dodge this one, and then these two, and that's the next part. They won't kill you in one shot, but they will do a lot of damage. If you had any damage, they'll kill you. Now we're gonna jump over here and get the chest. Now to get the answers for this puzzle, you actually have to hit this lever here, and the answers only stay up for a short time. So once again, I took a photo of this, and it's not that hard, but it's the order that matters. So here's the correct order. It's the, uh, one, two, and then skip one, go to the third, go to your right, hit these two, skip back over the middle one and hit this one. And then that's gonna open the case. Now you get a piece of gear, you get helm. And then run back across. Now we gotta go pick up Aphrodite's tears. Now ride the wind, jump, default glide, whatever it is. Mine's R for PC. Glide forward to the next one. Let this one propel you up the longer distance. And then you're gonna have to hit shift or whatever your accelerate is. Your sprint button essentially. Collect the tears and then move on to go get Zeus's lightning bolt. Now you have to jump, double jump, and then glide. It's not that hard, but I messed up a couple times when I was trying to film this, so it is what it is. And of course, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, immortals, happy hunting. Could have sworn the tears Aphrodite shed in grief for Adonis 
somehow weighed heavier when brought out of the underworld. 